Um, we didn't quite know what to use the armors for. And I have done many concepts for Dale, but they weren't really... very good, I would say, and I wasn't sure where I should go with, with Dale, because... Well, Dale is sort of a difficult influence-wise. You have the language influence, which we try to honor, and uh, I recommend if you're interested in Dale and in the Northmen, uh, go check out some online discussions about Peter Jackson's Hobbit and read what people oh fuck that read what people said about the way they portrayed Dale. And people were confused because they thought, well, Dale, they're sort of Vikings, right? And uh, no, they're they're not really Vikings. Uh, they were surprised that there were some Russian influences and so on. And uh, we weren't quite sure what to do with Dale, so we just gave them these armors and they stuck. And I, to be honest, I'm not super happy about them. They're strange and don't make much sense, you know, uh, in, in concept, in the greater scheme of the game, but... Um, we just stuck with them because people who can make reasonably good assets are rare. Oh, I'm gonna get boned. Oh, fuck. And uh, we didn't have that many people contributing. We, we had some, but, you know, that's the thing. Um, even if I had someone who would... Oh, fuck me. Even if I had someone to make these armors, I didn't have really good concepts, so we just left it this way. Because, well, you know, screw that, Dale. Nobody plays Dale. Why, why am I playing Dale? Dale's weird. Uh, but I quite enjoy the, uh, the side of the war in the north. Because there are so many different experiences, different to the, you know, typical Lord of the Rings stuff you have with Gondor and uh, Rohan and, um, okay, poke me. Oh, God damn it! I'll bash your horse's ass. So, I quite like the North. There are some really interesting games dealing with North, uh, obviously the Hobbit films, but if you haven't checked it out yet and, and you're a Tolkien fan, uh, there is a, a tabletop role-playing game uh, set in the North. It's called The One Ring, and it's published by Cubicle 7, and uh, the setting for that game is The North. And um, it has a very unique art style, it's uh, illustrated by John Howe of, well, the, the movie fame, and before. Oh, I suck at blocking, Jesus. <coughs> and uh, a friend of mine, or I'm not sure how he'd like me to refer to him as, but I would say, my friend, John Hodgson, who's an illustrator and also an art director at Cubicle 7. Oh, fudge. And the One Ring RPG, I'm told, is very good. I haven't played it because, well, I don't play tabletop RPGs very often, and there aren't people that interested in the game in my city, so... Oh, in your face, dude. 
So, I haven't played it, but I have looked at the art. Because the art is what interests me, mainly. And the art is very good. And uh, the art direction is not of the movies, I should say. It's geared very specifically towards the, I would say, historical roots of Tolkien's work, you know, his inspirations in the uh, migration period and uh, very early medieval ages. And uh, it's it has that sort of quote-unquote dark age feel. So no plate armor, I'm sorry. It's... oh fuck. Stop. Stop training. It's not at all like the movies. Similarly to The Last Days, which are also not like the movies. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to, to get food and we're supposed to hunt Malak of Gundabad. Well, I have a f sneaky feeling Malak might kick my ass if he has a sword because I have a cracked spear, so we'll scout main rune camp which is here. Okay, so we will save in the city in the city because we don't want to crash. Oh bloody hell! Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Checking quests. Yeah, well. Okay, so we'll go towards Rune Camp. And, uh. uh yay! Scouted. Okay, Freeman of Dale. We have 15 points. And, uh. Who was it that asked? What am I doing? Jeez. It was King Brand, so we will report what we've found around Rune Camp. The Rune Camps... Yes, I have done so. Okay, we have 50 resources and one rank point. Do you want me to do anything? Yes, we will take a letter, because it's like five meters away. The rune camps are, as you probably know, not accurate to the law. The Easterlings, as far as I remember, uh, came in a great wave and sort of, yeah, hey, have a message. Yes. Okay, so... They came as an army and didn't really set up any camps, not that I know of, but obviously we needed... Oh, we're in the foothills of Grey Mountains. Obviously we needed... to have some settlements for the Easterlings. So that's why we set up the camps. And there is uh, the feature that spawns additional camps when the war starts. Okay, where are the dudes? the main dwarves. I would say that could be one of them. Okay, they have the best armor on. And which one? Thorin Stonehelm. Okay. That's you! Hey! Sweet beard. I designed that. Okay, yes. I bring a message. Um, okay, we can possibly go to the Bay of Bjornings, but for now, we will... Yes, yes, this is a very useful screen, which I'm glad we put in. Uh, we still get people asking about how it works, the, the resource point system. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Okay, we're, we're gonna check if we can afford, like, a sword. Oh, no, we can't afford a sword. 
A shield we cannot afford either. Okay, this has only the thrust. Can we at least get a bell hook? No, we can't. Okay, maybe we could trade it like this. Yes! It's marginally better. Okay, so I would get some troops, but yeah, and we just came from the quarry. Okay, well, we'll save. And we shall try and see if we can kill this Malak. Oh, goodness. I shouldn't be trying these mountains. Yeah, the wolves, you can now run into wolves at night, and it's not at all healthy. And my timer is... Ah, oh, goodness me. Okay, so... We'll see if we can kill this bastard. And if we can, that will... finish this recording. And, uh... I assume he is a guy... Like a man. So where could he be? Oh yeah, that's totally him. Bodewolf. Lend me a bow, dude. Okay. Suspicious man, yes. He doesn't look like he's from Gundabad, but yeah. fuck you, dude. Okay. <sighs> that didn't go well. That didn't go well at all. I should have used the club, which would have clubbed him to the ground. Okay, I will stop the recording now and uh, maybe do more episodes if you're at all interested in this kind of let's play sort of listen to me stumble uh, over words and all the uhs and uhs and perhaps tell you some interesting information about the making of this mod and before we go we need to do this Yeah. Oh goodness, I forgot we put that in. Oh, poor pony. Yes, I do weigh too much for a pony. But... Okay. Poor pony. Sorry about that. Okay, boy, and uh, write me comments and stuff. Bye.